In this video, we will cover uh, New Vintage USA standalone stepper gauges, also referred to as A90 or Analog 90 gauges. New Vintage USA standalone stepper motor gauges are basically a miniature version of the Phoenix platform. They are programmable with various inputs to suit your needs. Plug-in connectors with co color-coded wiring are easy to hook up. This video will go over some of the features and wiring of the gauges. The gauges come in a variety of functions. Let's start with what comes in the kits. Kits will include the gauge itself, the back clamp, and the hardware kit, and the four pin connector. All kits will include these basic components. Now, based on the function of the gauge, it will also include for resistance, for oil pressure and or temperature, oil pressure sender or temperature sender. 0 to 5 and 0.5 to 4.5 volt kits will also include the three pin harness for reading that voltage from the transducer or input trans or, or a transducer and or a transducer with pigtail. The back is where we'll be spending most of our time for now. There are several key things to be aware of. This hole is not typically used. The case is used for a variety of items we build and all A90 gauges will have lighted integrated into the circuit board and is powered by the white wire on the four wire pigtail, which we'll cover here in a moment. This is the dip switch location. All of the A90 gauges come with the dip switches pre-configured for the item they were ordered. You may change these if required. The most common need to change is for the programmable fuel levels covered later in this video. The four pin connector plug is needed on all installations. All of the wires are always used except the green is not used in voltmeter, which uses the internal voltage of the gauge, uh, air fuel ratio gauges, any transducer gauge or any other gauge that uses a voltage input. The green wire is for resistance to ground only, such as oil pressure or temperature. The three pin connector is for voltage input gauges like AFR and transducers. Blue is the input signal. Red is five volt power for a five volt transducer only. Black is ground for a five volt transducer. And more on this later in the video. Resistance based gauges are connected as follows using only the four pin connector. Red is a 12 switch source, such as the accessory or ignition switch, not the starting circuit. Black is a good ground. White is a lighting circuit, such as the parking lamp. The LEDs will not work properly on a traditional dimmer. New Vintage USA does have an LED dimmer that supports up to eight gauges if needed. Green is the resistance sender like oil pressure or temperature, or even fuel. This is a resistance to ground signal. The dip switches can be used to change the input if needed. This is mostly used for setting the fuel sender range. Up is on, down is off. With the gauge powered off, flip the dip switches to the desired settings, turn the gauge back on, and it should be ready to go. Voltage input gauges, such as air fuel ratio and transducers, are wired up the following way. The four pin connector is wired just almost identical to the resistance based. Red is the 12 volt switched, such as accessory or ignition, not the starting circuit. Black is a good ground. White is the lighting circuit, such as the parking lamp. The LEDs will not work properly on a traditional dimmer. New Vintage USA does have an LED dimmer that supports up to eight gauges if needed. Green is not used on this application, so just go ahead and uh, tape that off or cut it off. Now on the three pin connector on voltage input gauges, uh, the blue is the signal input. This is the signal input from the transducer or AFR controller or other voltage input source. The voltage cannot exceed five volts on this input or you'll damage the gauge. Red is the power feed for five volt transducers. If you have a, tra a 12 volt transducer or, or AFR, this is not used. Black is the ground for the five volt transducer feed. If you have a 12 volt transducer or AFR, this is not used. To change the input from 0.5 to 4.5 or zero to five volt, just follow the chart at the right. The dip switches can be used to change the input if needed. This is most commonly used for uh, setting this fuel sender range. However, you can use it to change the voltage input range if needed. 
Up is on, down is off. With the gauge powered off, flip the dip switches to the desired setting. Turn the gauge back on and it should be ready to go. So just to wrap up, please be sure to double check wiring colors and plug locations prior to powering up for the first time to avoid damage. Make sure the three pin on the voltage input gauges such as transducers and AFR controllers only. The green wire on the four pin is for resistance to ground only such as oil pressure and temperature senders and fuel senders. The voltmeter does not require the use of the three pin harness or the green wire on the four pin harness. It reads voltage internally. The gauge does a full sweep self check at startup to confirm it has powered up correctly. And if you need some more help or uh, have any questions during your installation, please feel free to uh, get in touch with us. You can email us at service at newvintageusa.com, call us at 248-850-5482, or you can message us on uh, Facebook or Instagram anytime. Thanks for watching.